Guys, we're putting the new 3080 through its paces today. We're gonna check out some benchmarks, some gaming, and of course, some workload, some rendering tests. We'll put it head to head against the old 1080 and see how it does. Let's get started. So after a couple hiccups with installation, I've got my 3080 going and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's actually quite a relief to me to be finally done after pre-orders and backlogs and all this nightmare to finally have the system that I want for my work, for my play. Yeah, it's kind of nice. So let's have a look at some benchmarks. Let's see what this graphics card does as a whole in the entire build compared to the 1080. So with my 1080 going through some pretty strenuous user benchmark tests, I did come out with some decent results across the board, but my CPU is a 5950X, which is probably taking a lot of that load. And what do you think happened when I did the same test with the 3080? Of course, it is a few years newer and a lot more powerful, but I was pretty happy to see that my gaming and workstation scores essentially doubled. Now, I have to admit that my computer is primarily for work, but I do dabble in some games now and then. I did try a few and I was blown away with the performance at any resolution across the board on ultra settings, it performed flawlessly. There was very little if any drop in frame rates in anything that I did, so any kind of gaming is going to be fantastic with this card. But primarily, like I mentioned, this is a work computer for me, so mainly it's photo and video editing. So let's have a look at how it does in the workstation regard. Now for me, it's a lot of Photoshop, Lightroom, and Adobe Premiere, and more and more this software is relying on graphics cards and definitely not utilizing the potential of the newest processors. I did notice a big boost in performance when it comes to playback, as well as general editing across the board, which does make my time a lot more efficient. Now, if you're curious about the impact that this card will have on rendering times compared to say something like my 1080, well, I did a test on that. Here's a pretty strenuous 4K file that I rendered using my 1080, and that did it in a time of 14 minutes and 29 seconds. Now that's not too bad, but it would be a lot better if Adobe figured out how to actually utilize multi-cores in their software, but that's for another video. Jumping ahead and looking at how the 3080 performed rendering the exact same 4K file, well, it did it in a time of 10 minutes and 47 seconds, three minutes and 42 seconds faster. Quite impressive. So what are my overall thoughts about this graphics card? Now I paid 849 US dollars or 1100 Canadian, and it's not a cheap card, but I have to say, given the vast performance improvements across the board for my entire system, I'd say it's worth every single penny. I feel like I've future-proof myself now for the next few years, so whether I'm cruising the web, gaming, or using some of the most graphically intensive software, I know I'm covered. I'm quite happy with this card so far, and it just happens to look really good as well. I wanted to go over just a few of the key specs for me of this card. My specific model of the RTX 3080 was MSI's Gaming X Trio 10 gig, and the main reason for that is it was pretty much the only thing I could get my hands on. And that worked out fine for me, I don't mind paying a little bit more for quality. Now note that this beast only consumes about 340 watts, which isn't quite impressive considering it's an 8K graphics card. Now that's probably gonna be more than what I use it for, but for a lot of people editing and wanting to even game in 8K, know that it is possible. Also note that it is VR ready, which is exciting for the next gen of VR, hopefully coming soon. And it's also capable of handling a max of four displays. One of the things that I've been really impressed with is its overall ability to keep cool. I've never seen it anywhere close to a temperature that I'd not want it at, at all. For you hardcore gamers, it does have an HDMI 2.1, which is going to be crucial for the future of gaming. So at this point, it's pretty much got you covered in every regard. So I'm happy when I say it's not going to steer you wrong. So there you have it guys, there's my 3080 and a couple tests versus the 1080 there. I hope you like this video and if you want to see more just like it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Keep an eye out for a video on my entire build, breaking it down piece by piece to show you exactly what I got going on in there. Drop all your questions and your comments down below. If you want to pick up any of this gear, I'll leave affiliate links in the description for you too. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself and get out there and go create. See you next time.